Hello, and welcome to this tutorial on lighting in V-Ray for Revit. In this video, you'll learn some of the ways you can use V-Ray to set up and change your project's lighting. Throughout this tutorial, we'll be demonstrating various ways to create lighting in V-Ray for Revit. To preview all changes instantly, we'll run V-Ray's real-time viewer, Vision, in parallel. We'll start with Sun Lighting. You can define the sun position from the Revit Sun Setting dialog. To see what the sunlight will look like at any given time interval, we can enable Solar Study, which will animate the sun's movement. To load the animation, we need to stop Vision, choose the type of Solar Study and Time Interval, then start Vision again. This restart is required in order for all animation frames to be sent to the viewer. After that, you will notice a timeline at the bottom to play the animation. When you are happy with the result, you can export it as a WebM video. Now let's stop Vision and look at an alternative position for the sun. This time we'll use V-Ray's Light Gen tool to automatically generate sun positions to pick from. Open Light Gen, then select the type of space and environment lighting. In our case, we have exterior and sun lighting. We need to specify the number of variations for the altitude angle which controls the sun height above the horizon and the azimuth angle which controls the sun orientation clockwise from the north direction. Both these values affect the total amount of sun positions that V-Ray will calculate. Let's click Generate. The various lighting scenarios will appear as thumbnails. We simply need to click on the one we like and the respective sun and camera settings will be applied. The light gen set can be saved if we'd like to use it again. Now, let's see how to utilize image-based lighting instead of the sun and generate variants for positioning the image. This method requires at least one HDR image. V-Ray provides a complete library of such images, as well as the option to use your own image if you have one. The Unique Style slider specifies the number of HDRs that will be used, whereas Variations controls the number of rotations per image. Both these values affect the total amount of HDR lighting scenarios which LightGen will calculate. This time, we'll use a pre-saved light set. Simply click on the Load button, choose the file, and the thumbnail scenarios appear. We'll explore them using V-Ray Interactive Rendering. Clicking on a scenario will set the environment lighting to dome light. As its name suggests, V-Ray dome light shines inward at the rendered model as if from a hemispherical light source, whereas the light intensity and direction are based on the image we use. Another source of HDR images is V-Ray's content library, Chaos Cosmos. Browse the images, click the one you like, and import it. It will automatically load into the dome light texture slot. In addition, we can adjust the horizontal rotation or the offset from the horizon. Let's also enable the artificial lights. With this convenient toolbar button, you can enable all native Revit artificial lights that exist in the model. Let's stop the rendering for a while. We're almost ready to produce our final image. If we want the flexibility to adjust the lights even after the rendering has completed, now's the time to enable Light Mix, which will generate render channels corresponding to the lights grouping method we select from here. This time, we'll start V-Ray Production Rendering. Expanding the right panel of the VFB will take us to the channels generated by light mix. From here, we can explore countless light intensity and color combinations. That's a wrap for this onboarding episode. Stay tuned for our next video covering materials, or you can go back and discover the basics of V-Ray 5 for Revit in our introductory video.